All right, welcome back. Uh, this is one of the many videos about basic sounds in Game Maker. In the previous video, you should have learned how to basically play sound, and when you play sound, remember its ID, so that that way you can have individual control of that sound uh, later on with your code. So this video, we're going to take a look at doing volumes. So things like volumes of music and the master volume and volume of effects in the game, which is a common question for beginners. Now this way is the most basic way. Uh, make sure to watch the other videos because there's definitely some more advanced ways that actually make your life much easier. Okay, but let's take a peek at this. Uh, two variables important for the next uh, two, three minutes. There's global music volume, which I've set at one. One is basically full volume. And maybe remember this one too, global effects volume one. That's gonna be for the volume of sound effects. And while we're here, I guess master volume going to be set to one. So these are three variables I've made, right, that I'm going to use. Here's my starting the background music right there. It's looping. Okay. And I'm remembering its ID with global background music ID. Now let's take control of this. In the sound control object that I've made, I'm using K and I to make the volume of the background music go up and down. So let's just look at the music going down here. Press the K key. So I ask if global music volume is bigger than zero, you know, you don't want to go below zero, then I can minus 0.1 off of global music volume. So this is basically going to keep going down from one until it hits zero. And zero should be no sound, right? And then I use this nice little script Game Maker provides audio sound gain. This script controls an individual sound, you can uh, give it an ID, and there's the ID that I'm giving it, and that's the ID of the background music that I started playing. So that one particular sound is going to be affected by this, and gain basically means, you know, the volume of it, how loud it's going to be, and you can see what I've done. I've said, hey, take that specific sound, whether or not it's being played right now, and change it to that volume, global music volume, which I just made go down a little bit. And this is a nice little thing there, a time. Okay, over how much time do you want it to happen? I want this to happen instantly, right? If the players just hit volume down, zero. Just do this now. So what this does is this basically says that this sound is going to now change to that volume relatively. And if you ever play this sound again, it's also going to be at that volume, so it sticks. It's not just for sounds that are currently playing. So let's see this. I've also uh, plunked this in the I key to make the volume go up. The only difference, I say, if I'm less than 1, go up by 0.10, and the exact same command, right? So let's see the uh, background music being controlled here with the system. Just a nice, simple I and K. So you can see it going down there. And it gets quieter and background music's off. Now, lots of people have found the game maker function uh, with sound that 0.5 to your ears definitely does not sound like half volume. Uh, you know, you got to explore that yourself. And uh, I even know on Android and iPhone, you get some funny results with this. It's a big complaint uh, with people in Game Maker Studio sound engine. But, you know, those are the commands. You can fiddle with them and see what happens for you. Now, using this system, I've got the background music, which is nice and easy to control because there's only one sound there, right? So it's pretty easy just to say, hey, that sound, go up and down. Now, what do you do with this global sound effects? You know, different objects. You know, there could be 10, 20, 30 different sound effects that are being played in your game. Well, I'm going to show you right now a bad way to do it. It will work. It's a bad way. You should definitely check out, you know, the next video on emitters or the next video after that on audio groups to see how to do it far more efficient. But just to review a little bit while we're doing, sort of show you how it works. You'll see here that I have a sound called sound alarm. And I've got this tower here. Whoops, not a tower. I've got this thing. And the thing in the step event is randomly playing the alarm sound, right? Sound alarm. Now, when I actually change the sound effects, one thing I could do is I could say, hey, sound alarm, 
play a lot quieter. So let's just go to where that's done. So I'll go to my sound controller. For sound effects, I've used O and L. So I'll just do L for now. I've said global effects volume is bigger. Go down a little bit. And now let's actually try to turn this down. So audio, sound, gain. Now it wants an index of a sound. So I'm going to say sound alarm. And I'm going to say the level. Well, the level I want it at to play is global effects volume. And over how much time? Instantly, right? No delay. Right now, change that sound. So that's what I end up getting. Now, this isn't bad. It'll work. And let's just show you it working here. I'll lower the sounds with L. Keep in mind, I didn't do raised sounds. I just did the lower sounds. But as I lower this effect, you know, there's no more effects. Oh. You'll already notice the can is still full volume. I'm not hearing the screen from the thing anymore because it's volume is zero. Now, what about the can? The can noise is still playing loud. So, technically, in here also, I could do this sound. Gain, sound, canon, global dot. And you can already see why this is going to be annoying. Because if you have uh, 50, 60 effects, you don't want to have to have a list of 50, 60 things in here. Now, if you only have three, four effects, maybe this works for you and it's okay, which is why we showed it to you. But it's always nice to see the bad way before you see the good way. So, in the next two videos, I'm going to show you the good way of changing you know the audio so you don't have to do 50 lines of code here now the last thing I want to show you in this video is the master control of volume there's one nice command and that's why I've made this variable global master volume equals one and show you how this one's used now I'm controlling this one with the U and the J key so you can see here when I hit J if the master volume is bigger than zero, I take it down and just use this one line. Now, this one here, audio master gain. Basically, what it does, it's the grand master of volume control for Game Maker. Even if you've set other uh, sound settings with the other ones we just did, this one is on top of that. Okay, so it's basically multiplied on. So if you set this one to zero, everything's zero. If you set master gain to 0.5, any other setting you have is basically times by half, and that gets taken down as well. So this is a great one, right? It's a great one for mute. You can just set the audio master gain right down to zero. Boof, no sounds are going to play no matter what the other settings are doing. So this is a great one, and that's how easy it is to use, and there's no fussing with it, right? Audio master gain, and I just set it to that value. Now you can see how this works when I do the master gain. Okay, it's going to control everything here. And I'm just using it with J. And you can see now I have no sounds at all. Even if I fire the cannon, right? Nothing's going to happen there. And so Master Game, great one, right? So those are basically uh, two good sound commands you saw there. You saw Audio Master Gain for overall commands. And then you also saw this one, Audio Sound Gain. An individual sound can be addressed. Or, like you saw with the effects, I already forget where I put the effects here. You see that you can name a resource, and then none of those sounds, wherever they are, how many there are, get affected by the game. Okay, so those are some nice beginner commands, but the real good stuff starts in the next uh, video or two. Emitters, awesome, and audio groups, even more awesome. So check out those videos, because that's probably what you're going to want to use in the long run. Thanks for watching.